Hello in 4 H and H here. Uh, listening on uh, 40 meters tonight, there was a net here a little bit earlier, and uh, I just want to show you uh, what's going on right here. Of course, 40 meters has some jamming going on, and that's a, a lot of noise. Uh, makes me miss my uh, noise canceller. Um, I need to uh, think I get a, get another one of those. You know where you can uh, use two different antennas and uh, put the noise out of phase. They really do work. But um, let me bring the volume up. I'm using both receivers, um, two separate antennas, and um, there's the net. And you hear a little bit of grind in there from that jamming signal that's coming out of Cuba. But I want to show you what's even worse. I'm going to I'm going to turn off shift. And width. Let me show you where that is. Seventy-one fifty, and uh, there's usually a, um, a, a bunch of Americans in on this frequency at night, but I guess they've sort of given up. But um, let me move back up. So that's what I was dealing with trying to listen to these guys. So. Um, set my DSP width down to 1.5. See if I if I get they're they're only two kilohertz away, so I'm na narrowing my band pass here and then shift. Looks like 220 is doing it. Now I'll switch on the other receiver and narrow its width. What did I end up at? 165. Okay, so 165. And 220 on the shift, negative 220. Uh, remember the deal with shift. If the uh, noise is that high metal or metallic sound like you're hearing here, uh, then you want to use negative shift. If it's a low honking sort of interference, you want to go positive with your shift. So let me turn all that off. Now what I've done is I've assigned over here, you can see in the screen here, antenna two is assigned to the B receiver, antenna one is on the A receiver. Antenna one is my ZS6BKW, antenna two is my off-center fed dipole, which is a Fritzel, F-R-I-T-Z-E-L, FD-4, and it's the three kilowatt version. There we go. Much better. Now, I'm also using some padding here. Um, attenuation. I've got the A receiver set for negative 12, and I've got the B receiver set for negative 6. Now, the reason for that is... Quite frankly, the ZS6 BKW has more gain on 40 meters than the off-center fed dipole. Uh, it's an 80 meter off-center fed dipole. It is resonant on 40 meters, but it just um, isn't receiving 40 meters as well. as The ZS6 BKW is just the boss on 40 meters. So I'm, I'm essentially using the attenuation to try to even those out. So, I'll tell you what, I'll turn all this off, and take out the attenuation. It's just awful. <laughs> so, first thing I'm going to do is attack it with gain. As long as I can hear those guys, I don't need much front end gain. Matter of fact, let's try it this way. 
only a negative 12 on that one, a negative 16 on the first. And then width at 1.65 and shift at negative 220. See, that's also helping with that uh, noise we're getting from the jamming signals. And I haven't even tried the noise blanker yet. Um, I'll go with wide noise blanker. And that's helping knock down a little bit of that jamming. What I did was I went into the menu and I, I've I played around with this a little bit earlier. I've got the main, the wide noise blanker. That's what MNB width is. Uh, I've got that set at 35 for the width and 50 for the level. You want to only run that level as high as needed because it does introduce some distortion. Any noise blanker will do that. It'll introduce distortion if you get them, run them too high. And of course, also noise blankers have a tendency to degrade your selectivity. So you really only want to use it if you have to. But listen to that. Okay, again, let me turn everything off. And incidentally, you see these two lights here. What that is is digital noise reduction. I'll turn it off too. I'm only running it on algorithm three. Digital noise reduction on both receivers. You know, it'd be nice if Yesu would add um, a feature with it when you have dual receive to allow you to put the signal on uh, the B receiver out of phase with the signal on the A receiver and essentially that would give you uh, the same functionality that you get from the uh, aftermarket noise cancelers that you can buy. Okay, let's knock the rest of that out. So that's how I'm, I deal with that. Anyway, just in case that might help someone, I thought I'd shoot a quick video about it. So here I am on the 40 meter band where there's a lot of noise, um, a QSO going on two kilohertz away and not even in my language. And, um, and then of course the jamming signal. Obviously ham radio would be more fun if we didn't have to deal with all the noise, uh, you know, in the jamming and everything else going on, but uh, it is what it is, right? As they say. And of course, this is the Yaesu FTDX5000MP. I was fortunate uh, to get one of these uh, before they were discontinued. I purchased this one in um, August of 2019 and have been absolutely thrilled with this radio. And I'm, I'm so sorry for those of you who are trying to buy one now and they're, um, well, practically unavailable unless you find something old stock. Okay, well, I'm going to leave you with this, um, the way it sounds now, better than what it could be. It's not perfect, but, you know, we're dealing with a lot of interference. So I hope uh, someone will find this video helpful and informative. Thank you, Patreons, for your continued support to help me keep this channel uh, going. Just thank you so much um, for those of you who have become Patreons. And hey, you know, put the word out if we get this channel, you know, uh, get a good many subscribers to it. Hopefully we can bend the ear of some of the manufacturers and start steering the uh, development of some of these radios. For example, you know, asking if we can get uh, the ability with a dual receive radio to be able to um, put the second receiver's signal out of phase with the, uh, with the first receiver. And uh, that would help out with uh, noise. So uh, as you, if you're not familiar with the noise canceling devices, you, uh, you basically tune the same signal on both antennas and you uh, turn a knob that will 
allow you to adjust the phase relationship between the two signals and you reach the point where the noise is canceled out, but you can still hear uh, who you were trying to listen to. And uh, those things really do work. Uh, they're available from DX Engineering, MFJ makes one. Uh, I've got the MFJ model. It has been somewhat um, prone to failure when you run an amplifier. But uh, I hear good reports about the one that they sell at DX Engineering. But wouldn't it be cool if they would build that into the radio? Case in point, when DSP units first came out, they were external devices that you would basically plug a speaker into the DSP and then plug the DSP into the external speaker jack of your radio. And then, well, the next thing you know, they're putting DSP in the radios. And so, you know, just over the years, some of the things like oh, EQs, microphone EQs, you know, people were doing it outboard. Now it's built in. So it seems like that, you know, the more and more that we try to do external to the radios, the manufacturers maybe picked up on that and started putting those features in the radios. So I think it'd be nice if we could get them to, with dual receive radios like the 5000, of course, it's out of production now, but you've got the FTDX 101. Uh, D and MP, um, you've got the, uh, you know, uh, radios like the TS-990S, um, and then ICOMs, uh, dual receive radios, you know, get those, uh, maybe through a software update. I don't know if they could do it that way. I, I wouldn't see why not, because the, they already have the ability to assign a separate antenna to each receiver. So maybe through a software enhancement, if we had the ability to, for example, use the multi-knob, to do that phase relationship, just an idea. Um, like I said, the more we grow this channel, uh, maybe we can get some of our ideas heard by the manufacturers and they'll take us seriously. So I do appreciate your support. Again, thank you, Patreons. If anyone would like to become a Patreon, please go to www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH, patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. And hey, please do me a favor. Uh, you, have, you have no idea how much this helps. Uh, so, so I'm told by, by you know, uh, more experienced YouTubers, um, the more likes I get, uh, the more visibility the channel will get. And again, to, tr to just try to get the word out. So if you would like the video and, uh, you know, subscribe, that helps as well. And um, if you do, don't forget to click the bell and you'll be notified when I upload the next video. Hey, thanks for watching, and I appreciate that a lot. Appreciate your time, and um, I want to say 73 from N4HNH.